Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working in Pro Tools and we're going to start a new series in which we're going to be discussing the operation of the edit tools. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the edit tools are located here um, top left. Um, there are edit tools such as the Zoom Toggle, Zoomer Tool, Trim Tool, Selector, Grabber, Scrubber, and the Pencil Tool. So today we're going to start with our first one which is the zoom toggle. So zoom toggle, uh, this is a tool or I guess you could say a feature of Pro Tools that lets you set a predefined zoom um, operation or parameter that you can toggle on and off whenever you want. Now how do you, how do you configure the way this zoom toggle is going to work? Well if you go to Pro Tools and you open your preferences and you go to your editing tab here you can see your zoom toggle configuration. So for example, um, here you can configure the way that this zoom toggle um, function is going to work. So for example, uh, when you're talking about horizontal zoom, well right now it's set to selection, which means whatever is selected, when you toggle that zoom toggle button, it'll um, zoom horizontally to that selection, okay, to whatever area of the clip you have selected. Uh, for example, the case of track height, it's set to fit to window. So when you zoom in, when you, sorry, when you press that zoom toggle, the zoom will fit to window as far as the track height, okay, so vertically. Now when you go out of zoom toggle, it'll go back to wherever it was before. So imagine zoom toggle as a configurable zoom um, that you, you know, turn on, use, and then turn back off or toggle off, okay? So my recommendation for editing purpose, just leave horizontal zoom set to selection and track height set to fit to window. So let's give it a shot. So let's start with the horizontal um, part of this zoom toggle. So if you go ahead and click and drag to select an area of a clip, like here, I'm selecting from bar four all the way to bar nine. Okay, if I zoom toggle, boom, check what happened. It'll horizontally zoom to my selection and vertically, it'll zoom to fit the screen. Now, uh, keep in mind, zoom toggle is on, it's blue. Okay, you can see that blue button. If you click it back, if you uh, click on it again, you turn it back off and it's, it's back to wherever it was before which is pretty cool. Now let's take it one step up, okay? What if we go ahead and select two tracks? Just two tracks. What happens if we zoom toggle that? Well, boom. What it did is that it vertically zoomed uh, both tracks to fit to window. Now if you have two tracks selected and you select, you make a selection and then you zoom toggle, now you're not just zooming in vertically to fit to the screen or to the window, but also horizontally because you have an actual selection. You have selected an area on both clips. Uh, once again, it's on because it's blue. So the blue indicates that it's on, but you, you just have to click on it again and you go back to wherever you were before. So that's cool when you're trying to find some, like problematic areas. You might just, you know, you know, select an area, zoom toggle, do whatever you're going to do. And you know, you can just go back to your previous view. So that's the zoom toggle in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and we will be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.